Well, hello there, and welcome again to Roland's Reviews. So, here it is. Let me just frame it up. It's, it, it arrived a couple of weeks ago, and I've been sitting on the Kenner book. Uh, so, this is uh, the creation of uh, Greg and uh, Johnny from Red 5 Designs. Um, the original Kickstarter started in 2020, I think. Yes, so um, it's 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 a beast of a book. It is. Um, it's very big. Um, I'm quite obsessed by looking through it. Uh, and just to get a scale on how big it is, because this this, this book um, weighs over four kilograms, so I've been told. Uh, so this favourite figure. So that will give you a sort of scaling idea. Of how big the book is so it's it's basically one-to-one -one size so it's it's a behemoth of a book so this is officially entitled star wars toy guide volume one uh kenner action figures uh, 1977 to 85 so uh and this is is the red cover which uh, johnny and greg a complete surprise, I didn't realise I was getting uh, this cover. Uh, so let, let's have a look at it first, because it, it's 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 a beast to get through. So let's just move it over. Hopefully when I open it, it will be in full frame. So there we, there we go. Wow. I can't zoom out anymore. <laughs> uh, so here, um, we've got the, uh, this is issue four. Uh, with the red cover, uh, so that's four of twenty-five. It just it just screams luxury. This does. Uh, right, so let's have a look at the first. So again, it's so big the pages fall really nicely. Uh, so I've got the red five uh, um, here again uh, with the uh, issue four of twenty-five. And to start off, we've got um, Greg and Johnny's the signatures there. So that's a nice little touch. Uh, so I'm not going to go through the entire book. I'm just going to go through, sort of get you, give you a flavour of, of, of what's in here. Oh, here we go. So table of contents. Here we go. So we've got the introduction, uh, Ken a brief history. We've got front cards, card front offers with all the stickers, and card backs. Figure waves, variations, which is a really good page. We'll have a look at. We've got, we, we even get baggies. We get the baggy section, uh, and then we've got uh, a section on coins, uh, proof cards, uh, the droids and Ewoks, uh, large size figures, and a volume review. And there's also a, a an, ex, an extensive uh, catalogue page of all the American catalogues from '77 onwards. Uh, and this is, uh, there's, there's over 6,000 photographs in here, and, and Greg, uh, is, that's his photography. Uh, so we've got a brief um, introduction of, of Johnny, uh, how he became in, interested in Star Wars. Uh, that's Johnny's favourite figure, the Bespin Han Solo. And there's a picture here of uh, uh, Johnny with the figure and as well, I mean, Greg's a little bit younger than we are, but he's still, um, he was in the position where his mum used to work in a toy store, so he would have an abundance of Star Wars stuff. Um, and Greg's favourite childhood figure is uh, R5. Um, nice little touch. Uh, so we've got a, like a brief history of Kenner um, from way back when. Um, from the 40s and there's a nice little timeline to go through right up to Kenner's um, sort of um, finishing products. Let's go back and look at these. I mean, there's a lot of pages where this is lovely detail. Uh, so an e evolution and promises. So this is like, a, oh look, this is like a, uh, a chart, everything going back from G.I. Joe, Action Man, down to three and three quarter inch, micro men and adventure people, and then into Star Wars. So you've got like a brief history of Kenner. It's a really interesting read. Um, here we go. Um, you're, okay, we're starting off obviously with the early bird sets, which no one back in the 70s um, could get their hands on actual figures. They had to sit tight and wait. 
So we're into the uh, initial sort of 12 card fronts. Uh, so this gives you a guide of how to read each card front, uh, whether it be a master with a slightly different um, a sticker arrangement on it. Uh, so everything is thought of, um, even down to the different ways the, colded, the folded card was um, uh, applied into the, the bubble itself. So we've got everything from Star Wars right up to the uh, power of the force with the coins. Um, one second, and just to give you an idea of how big this book is, I've got my only carded figure here. Uh, it is one to one scale, as you can see. Um, so that is the actual size of a card back. Uh, so it's one to one scale, as I said. Uh, so we've got each individual variation of, of card. So we, we, we start off with Luke Skywalker here on the Star Wars card, into, into Empire, and into Jedi, and the uh, a variation picture of their. Um, and that, that will do that for every single figure. Um, so here we go. So this has got uh, just a, a, a every single card right through to the power of the force. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Uh, right, so we've got um, card fronts and offers here and a, a nice big picture of um, uh, Boba Fett there. I hope you can see this, it's a very bright... There we go. Uh, so this will go through um, in individual um, how to read the different variations of the card backs uh, with the different sticker offers. Uh, so it's got every variation you can possibly think of. Um, with your Admiral Atbar or your Four Loms or your Nine Loms. Uh, interestingly, the the uh, the power of the force never had any of the um, stickers or offers on there. But again, nice big photographs. Uh, so it, this is how just to read these uh, design templates. So you've got uh, the the sort of masters at the top here. Uh, that would be the master for Star Wars, Empire, and into Jedi. Uh, just with all of the attributes taken off. Um, yes, yeah, so each of these uh, card backs, uh, these, all the ones that are paled out are, haven't been found. And what Greg and Johnny have done, um, they've sent these stickers. Uh, so when, if you were out in the wild and you found this, uh, this one here, um, you were able to uh, peel it off and place it in your book um, just to sort of tick that box, so, so to speak. Um, but I, I, they gave us, um, I don't know, there's about 20 of these sheets. Um, so they make great, they just make great stickers on their own. Um, yeah, so you can fill the book like a sticker book. Uh, so this section here, we're into the actual figures themselves. So let's start from uh, wave one. Um, Again, the, uh, it's, it's how to read it, the, all the different codes. Um, so we, we could start with Luke. So um, you get four shots of uh, the, the figure from front, back, left and right. And uh, it'll show you on each page. Um, there's no figure variants yet. That's an, an entire section to itself. So again, you've got all the different card backs, um, all the variations, all the sticker, all the sticker variants as well, um, which you can see at the top here, and they're all coded, so you can turn back the book and reference everything. So, uh, so yeah, each each figure will have a, a there will just be a basic variation. So you've got the different hair types of Luke and the different. Uh, the double telescopic um, lightsaber and the standard one. And there we go into Princess Leia as well. Again, Chewbacca. Absolutely gorgeous. It's just such a pleasure to look through this. You're going to need a big, um, a big old coffee table 
because I'm doing it on the dining room table at the moment. Uh, some of the um, some of them will have these fold out sections. Oh, it's, there we go. So you've got a nice. It didn't it didn't have to do these, but it's, they just they look so nice. Just gives that extra quality, doesn't it? Um, it also gives you a bit more page space. Um, you know, you've got double the amount of information going on under this under this flap. So you have stormtroopers and this Obi Wan. I, mean, I, I had no idea there were so many card backs at all. Good old Greedo, Hammerhead, those Cantina disco creatures. Uh, of course, Red Snaggletooth. Uh, so yes, yeah, so. Uh, Red Snaggletooth, and because Greg and Johnny know that's my favourite figure, uh, they sent me a proof a proof page, which I'll probably hang on the wall, uh, frame that up. So yeah, so that was just a nice little touch. The guys, Matt Matt got um, Greedo, uh, Shabby got um, a proof page for uh, uh, Jedi Luke. So that's just so nice. Oh, I, you get a, I got a. Wars man there as well, so that can yeah that makes sense. It's on a, a split page, and it, it will literally go through. So we skip through all the Empire. Tim's favourite, Luke Reynolds' favourite. Um, yeah, so it will, you want to skip through. We're into Empire, and the pages fold out nicely. They that they, they, they flatten out. There's no sort of glare. Well, I hope there's no glare. Um, so let's skip on to Jedi. So we're on page 190 so already, so it's this, we're not even halfway through the book. Uh, now we're moving into the last 17, or the last 15, wherever you're from. Um, again, we've still got these gorgeous pages. Luke in his poncho. Stormy Luke. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous photography. I wish I could be as good as Greg. Right, so we'll uh, get to the next section here, uh, which is the uh, variants. So this is a nice, lovely section. So it's got each wave um, and each of their variants and weapon variants as well. So this section is, is brilliant. Um, Obviously, we know there's a lot of different looks with diff different hair. I never knew there were so many different leg variations. Um, so these are the ones they've discovered. There could be more. Um, it even goes into the, the, the different chins Luke has. How the, uh, his lightsaber is, um, how, it, how that one varies with the tapered edge or the flat edge. Um, it's, oh, it's fantastic. I didn't know this um, on the on the head of the sand person here. You've got the the the, the, um, the struts, and on the on the opened one, the open chewed one, the um, the head pieces are are a slightly skew angle. A look at red here. I mean, I never knew he had different, uh, a slightly more silver belt buckle. It's just oh, it's just fantastic. Uh, so we, we've got the, uh, I'll quickly go through the multi-pack section. Uh, something I never had, something I never knew there was so many variations of either. Um, yeah. Got a lot of these up the catalogs, didn't we? So we're into baggies now, mail order and baggies. Um, so all the different sort of, ca the, the, the catalogs that came with, um, with, with, with uh, some of the, the figures and, uh, when you sent off for the mailers, so you've got this, this is something I don't know much about. So, um, but literally, you get the different variants um, from the different waves of, of, of the mail, mail away figures. It's just fantastic. Look, all the mini catalogs, um, which are just that that's a nostalgia burst for me because a lot of my mini catalogs were, were uh, lost. In time so and now we have a, 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 a it's a Christmas catalog uh, it, it, these are all from the US these catalogs um, so you've got it get this goes on for 70 pages at least um, so if you're uh, 
looking for a nostalgia burst, please check out these, this section. Um, it was a section that they, they weren't sure that, that they were going to put in Greg and, and, um, and Johnny, but um, once they sourced all the, the correct catalogues and got some decent high-res scans of them, I mean, I guess just go with it, isn't it? So, uh, and then we're quickly going to the coins. Uh, something uh, I haven't, I, I never got any of the coins because uh, uh, we, we had the, um, the Tri Logo Palatoy ones without the coins when I first started getting the last 17. Um, so, this is another section which, um, if you're into your Star Wars coins, your silver coins, um, this is another section that you could uh, learn a hell of a lot from. And then we go into uh, something I don't know that much about. Is the, is the droids, uh, vintage droids section. I mean, you can't not go into droids and Ewoks when you're talking about your vintage. So, uh, and then we were into our the animated series uh, of Ewoks. Um, with the old battle wagon at the back, still selling the Kenner Ewok accessories. Just brilliant, isn't it? And then here we go. We're into our uh, large 12 inch um, vintage figure right range. So that's another section. So that'd be everything from uh, Princess Leia with the comb uh, straight up to um, RG88, which was the last one to be released. Um, I do have a few of these. I've got, I've got, what have I got? I've got Luke. I have R2 and 3PO. And here we go. You, you get reg regret in life. Uh, I sold my IIG88 on eBay um, a couple of years ago. A bit, a bit gutted that I didn't hold on to him. He wasn't the best. He'd lost an arm. Uh, he'd lost a hand. And here we go. Here's here's something that's that's coming up into the f in the future. Um, so we've got volume two of the Kenner book, which will deal with all the play sets and all the vehicles. Um, so obviously they could have added this into this book, but it would have been another I don't know, really a thousand pages. So there's a volume two coming. Um, so keep you posted about that. And here's just, the, just uh, a little bit about the, key, the, the Kickstarter and the, 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 collect, uh, the little collecting community as a whole. I um, mean, we had some YouTubers. Obviously, we've got some um, um, Tim from Boss Bounty, Josh and Andy um, from Holly Chronicles, who um, both had Greg and Gianni on their live streams um, to show the early proof of the book. Um, and then we've got us, of course, uh, myself, Matt and Shabby at USR. Um, we did a live stream after myself, Matt and Shabby uh, received the book. And, and the, the guys, the guys have, have, have popped on the live stream a, a fair few times. Um, so it was nice to kind of all have the book and be able to flip through those pages. Actually, before I finish the video, let's, I'll show you the book without its dust cover. Oh my God. Wow. Look at that. Uh, yeah, so it's got a, a very nice, tactile texture to it and it's all nicely silver embossed yes yeah, uh, yeah it's really durable really durable I mean it's, it's it needs to, to be durable if it's if it's over four kilograms it needs to be a durable book um, the book at the moment is, is still being um, posted uh, I think Greg and Gianni are, are trying to get out 80 books a day and if you've missed the um, the Kickstarter, if you email, if you go to the um, uh, Red Five 
uh, website and email Greg or Johnny and if he gets the numbers up there will be a second wave of printing happening which I think is inevitable because the, the response that, that, that the book has had in the community um, it, it has been outstanding so um, this is a miracle of, of, of publishing in, 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 my, in my book. I just want to say thanks to Greg and Johnny uh, for uh, allowing me to have this early access to this book. Um, I could have made a video a bit earlier, but there's, I didn't want to kind of put a video out and, and ruin um, the surprise of, of, of people who haven't received their book yet. So the sensation of getting this book is like um, when it arrived, which was well packaged, by the way, it was well packaged. Uh, when it arrived, when I opened it, it, it instantly took me back to that, that feeling of when it may be a Christmas or a birthday, when I got, I don't know, the Millennium Falcon, the Atat, um, the B-Wing. It was, it, it's almost like getting a new Star Wars vintage toy to play with. Um, I, that, that's how I would describe get, having this book. It's just something which will enhance your collect your collection, make you proud to be a Star Wars collector. And yeah, you, you're going to get buried in, in the pages of this because it's it's just fantastic. That's it. We did it. We did it. That's it. We did it. We did it.